back to the Volcano Manor. Now we've just found a few kind of albinurics who look like they were captives inside this little room here. Uh, there is an optional path down below that we need to explore at some point. We're a little low on flasks, but um, we'll continue exploring. Now let's clean ourselves off with a bit of soap. I like that feature, <laughs> that, that, that part of that feature. Clean ourselves up. Right. So yeah, there were albinurics, they were kind of collared, I guess. We've got uh, some stairs leading down here. Ah! No! God! You scared the bejesus out of me, man. This feels like Bloodborne here. These, these sounds feel very much like Bloodborne. Oh, come on, I hit the wall. Let's use Bestial Vitality to get us there, I guess. Save our flasks for when it's life or death. Invisible wall. Okay, so maybe the Albinurics are connected to Rykard then? And not to Renala, like I suspected. Although Rykard and Renala are siblings, it seems. Hello there! Probably we can level up quite soon. Explosive great bolts. If there are invisible walls in here. I have no idea how I'm going to locate them. This might be a mini boss. Nope. Yeah, we're going down to the lower side regardless here. That's your vitality's just run out. These guys throwing pots at us, man.
I didn't see you there. Sneaky slug. That's probably where Alexander is. Very dark round here. Strange. Maybe you can fall down here by accident. Weird. Yeah, I guess you can just fall down here. Oh, you fell off, did you? What oh, shame. Nice. Excellent. Come on, man. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not sure if all of this is going to lead to Rykard. I think we have to do... ...all the related quest stuff... ...first, but... That's just... Damn it. That's just an assumption, of course. Is that a worm? I think that was a worm. Yeah, but it looks like we found a shortcut, so... How dare you. Okay, so this is how we get up to that bit I was trying to jump on. Is it a shortcut? I'm not really sure. I suppose it is. It's a weird one. Maybe I'm not understanding it completely. Let's have a look. Oh, 
don't know if there's any need to come up here, but... Yeah, that's where that other path leads down to. maybe take on that worm I guess we've got a level up on us though so oh wait there are multiple elevators we came up on that one so I guess this one goes up again right that's the point this is the shortcut I think this is going to lead to an iron virgin though no it's a uh, pyromancer guy Hang on, let's just make sure we're not missing another elevator. I think an enemy's bound to spawn here, I could be wrong. Eerily empty on this side. Maybe this is just where most people will retreat from fighting this guy. But... Come on then, big boy. No thrusting attacks. Got him. So that's a, he's a godskin apostle, I think. Or something like that. The flat pyromancy and everything. Right, here's the bridge shortcut. Yep. Oh, look at that. Blood church almost. Alright, let's unlock the bridge. That makes sense. It's only lukewarm lava, we have to remember. Okay, weird thing to prioritize a cutscene for, but okay. Still don't know how to get up there. Right, before we potentially rest here, because we've got a level up on us, let's explore that bit that's lower down while all the enemies are still gone. Now, the problem is, I can't remember how to get there. I think it was down here. Oh, I forgot about that. Oops. I think it's back here somewhere, right? No, this is where we found the finger seal. This is the dead end.
Here we go. Alright, let's try this. That looks a bit far down, man. Oh, I could have made that jump, couldn't I? Crap. This is a bit ominous. Oh, we've got uh, jars. I'm a friend of the jars. Isn't that right, Mr. Big Jar? Smoldering shield. Ah! Don't harm me because the big jar will harm me afterwards. Beautiful. Dude, don't start throwing shit. Oh, God. No idea where we are now. Press jump instead of roll, okay. Oh, that's where we got dropped off from the patches trap, isn't it? I understand now. There's no way over there because we've already been over there. And, oh, cool, we've come back full circle. Right, let's try this jump. I don't think we're going to make it, but... Oh, yes, I satisfied. <laughs> nice, thank you. All right, I think we're safe to jump back to the main bomb. Wait, what? Is that where we found Alexander last time? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. This is where the ma the worm was, the magma worm. Right, let's hop back here, level up. We'll put another point into mind. Get our FP up a bit. I think we're a bit short on runes, aren't we? Another 2,000. For God's sake, I didn't have enough runes. I was like, I thought my controller wasn't moving. And then I guess we just head straight out here in, into that freaky looking church. And I was going to say, maybe we could jump up there, but... Oh, there might have been more to explore further down as well. I'll have a look in here first. Yeah, there's a fog wall. I wonder if that's Rikard. I'm expecting a fight here. Shield up. Oh, not this shit again. <laughs> He's even bigger.
It's not as tanky as the last guy, to be honest. I'm loving the music, though. Terrain is helping us massively here. Damn it, completely mistimed. need to heal now. Here we go. Still going! Oh. Oh, I tried to roll into it. The bleed hasn't procced yet. Oh, we're in a corner. I love this music. Gonna heal. I'll take it. gonna heal. I'm gonna let our incantation do the work and our attacks.
Nice. Godskin Stitcher, gross, and Noble Presence. Nice. Um, wow, we got 50,000 runes for that. That's a rapier, obviously. Oh, it's a heavy thrusting sword, sorry. Elegant piercing sword with a celadon colored blade. Wielded by Godskin nobles. The nobles possess skill with the sword unmatched by any lowborn. Despite its size, successive attacks from this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow. Oh, that looks sick. Despite its, its horrible name of Stitcher. Um, the pits of an ash of war, right? I'm sure it was an ash of war. Like the thing that where he sh like pushes his belly out, everyone, I think. I can't seem to tell which one it is. I would have thought it would have been a heavy one, but... Can't tell. Serpent's Amnion, like an egg. Amnion from the mother's womb, which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of the repellent birthing, rich birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offspring. Interesting, unintended. Right, we need another 12, 13,000 runes. is only at 91 in terms of using summons right we've got several like we've got an elevator at the back that one that came down here was it that one or was it on the other side oh hello offshoot here oh god there's like a whole bit beneath hey man you never know you never know See where this goes. <coughs> Jesus, excuse me.
wondering if there's an NPC up here or something. You can probably make, make that jump, right? Absolutely not. I don't even need to, Jesus. Now let's go this way first. Oh god, a bit of respite. Interesting, we can hop off here. And there, follow the cliff up there. Up there. Let's check out the interior first. We should probably go and check back in at the manor. Obviously, Raya has disappeared from the manor. She's probably come to explore down here. Okay. Okay, I don't know supposed to find back here unless there's an Im invisible wall or something. Strange. There might be something I'm missing in here. Not found Raya yet. Let's check the bonfire. No, Raya is technically there. Yeah, let's go and talk to everyone there, because... We've just progressed through the, the manor quite a bit. So they might have something to say. If you follow this, it cannot. Okay, so it's going to be a while before we actually get to fight Rikard, unfortunately. But where is Raya? Is she in one of the rooms? Okay. Lizard man. Is that Raya? That's Raya? Brave Tarnished. What is your business here? You're a wizard! This is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Yeah. Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, well, I was, a bit, tarnished. I was a bit shocked. This is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Hmm. Lady Tanith is my mother. She's a I'm lizard too. Told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. Hmm. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, true. they wouldn't speak to me. And so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. That's why she's hunched but over. You are not like the rest. My serpentine form. And the name, Zorias, were secrets, known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Okay. My serpentine were secret. Now I share this. Please keep them Yeah, just, just casually forgets to transform back. Okay. That's the secret door, so I doubt anyone's gonna go in there. If you follow this, it cannot come at Uh yeah, let's yeah. Did you see her? The girl, Raya. With her true face. Mm. Oh, uh oh. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother. Adoptive. I ask of you. 
Please be kind to her. I oh, will. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Okay. Please, her true visage. Please, her true visage. We talk to the Crucible Knight. He's my hero. <laughs> He's my father. My serpent was secret. Now I said, please keep them. Probably shouldn't tell this guy, right? You still alive? Well. Okay. Now her name has changed to Zarias. Yeah. Yeah. Temple of Eagle. Right. Let's uh, head out onto this path. Color our, our eyes. I think that they're red. Must be something to do with RA, right? Moog. I wonder if this leads to where Alexander is. Let's just have a look back here first. Excuse me. Uh, where is that? I'm pretty sure we've been here. Yeah, I'm, I'm very sure we've been here. out now. <coughs> oh no. I'm sick of this. In the lava. How are you immune to lava?
sick of it. Hate those things. You never know. Okay, we can drop down there. Hello, friend. Dude, you're setting the place on fire! Let's just have a little look around before we drop down there. What is going on in here? Is this the shortcut? I'm unsure. <clears throat> Excellent. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not that far away, but fair enough. Oh, damn it. We've got a shortcut coming back here anyway now, so let's drop down into that room. Glowstones are still working, so... Oh, there's a ladder. Fair enough. Oh, the glowstones wore off. Is this going to be locked? Nope. Missionary's cookbook. Holy proof drive liver. Okay. I thought we were going to be stuck in here, otherwise I would have come down on the ladder. Oh yeah, and we can drop down there as well. Over this way. Somber stones. Uh oh. 
Well, I thought that something crazy is going on here. Let's not aggro everyone. I don't need that item. <laughs> Common as headband, sure. What are you? He's got like bellows. I can hear death blight frogs, curse frogs, whatever you call them. I tried to roll, man. I can't seem to hit a, a bleed on these things. There it went. Man serpent ashes. So I, wouldn't, I guess these are probably men who've turned into serpents. Be wrong. Or half breeds, I guess. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is that a god skin shield? What is going on? What is up with his head? Right, you've got some sort of infection there, mate. Come on, where's the bleed? There we go. Wow, he was tanky. So that's the equivalent of a stone head, right? Because it's supposed to be because he was a sorcerer. 
because we've got another stairwell. Oh! Cool. I wonder if this leads to Alexander. Let's head back here first because there was a stone sword room, I think. I love a good teleport. <laughs> it's like an unknown adventure. It's a double key. Got five keys. So. Okay, this is precarious. That's all hell. One sorcerer. <laughs> you gotta be careful jumping because you go too far. Am I gonna jump to that tiny little thing? I can probably survive the drop at this point. Scared me, man. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that could have been bad. Seed bled curse. Says that's a key item. Curse grown on a corpse, killed and defiled by the Dung Eater. Finally heard mention of him. A tender pox afflicted with omen horns. The Dung Eater cultivates the seed bed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Erd Tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. I only heard mention of him. Oh no. I was blocked in the animation. Ah. I hate it when they do the double. Oh, Jesus. 
Gonna have to heal. Hideous creature. If I can even call it a creature. Number seven. Have a look around the corner. Well, I guess they'd capture people, maybe, and turn them into lizards or. The dung eater would do things to them. Now the dung eater will probably be a tarnished, just like all the others mentioned in the intro were. Fear, Gideon, Horolu, Goldmask, and the dung eater. Royal Knights Resolve. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Skill of the knights who once served the Elder Lord. Hold the flat of the armament to your face and pledge your resolve, greatly powering up your next attack. Okay, so it's like a one time use thing. That's pretty good. Where does this lead? Yes! Patches! My man! What are you doing here? Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. Thanks. All good, though. We're on the same side now. Yeah, sure. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business. Patches Emporium at Sorry. Volcano Manor. Especially for you. What have you got? Not really got anything new, except for this Margit's Shackle. I, mean, I might as well pick this up. I know we don't need it, but... Oh, he's got the gold... gold feet. Useful. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? A little bit. I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. Fair enough. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. Mm -hmm. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Cheers for that. Ah, hello. What impeccable timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Right. Relax. We're old friends. <sighs> Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> Forgot something on your shopping list? No, no trouble to me. Cheers for that. A written request from Volcano Manor addressed to Patches, disclosing the name of a tarnish to be hunted. Great Horned Tragger. Oh, that's the guy who fought with us against Redan. He can be found at the ruin strewn precipice. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. That's for Romazula, right? No? Ruin strewn precipice. What in. Weird that it's not showing up on the map. Ooh. 
Where did we hear that ruined stream precipice? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, let's have a look around first. Oh, no way. Okay, this is just a shortcut then. This is the main entrance. Have you guys got an opinion about patches? If you follow this, it cannot come. Now, Tragoth was either the one who was the sorcerer with the big belly, or the one who had the unbelievably big hammer. So let's just end the episode by going and doing that, because that's pretty cool. Hang on, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm just going to backtrack slightly because I've just blanked on... How we got here. Oh yeah, we dropped down. Yeah, the dung eater stuff. And yeah, okay. That might be everything here then? Could be wrong. Right, let's go and give this a try. Oh man, it's right here! Well, I've spent so much time running around, I will have edited all of it out. I just didn't see it. Fine. Alright, trag off. Let's just... Ah. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's either the guy with the big hammer or the guy who looked like a bumblebee. The guy with the big hammer. Hi, hey, mate. Why? Look at the hammer that you've got and you're doing that nonsense. Tanky. Oh. You have my respect. Sorry, Trago. If he gives me that hammer, oh god, all bets are off. <laughs> oh, the bull goat helm. No hammer! Oh. <laughs> wow, that is another level of heavy. 47 points! Oh my god. <laughs> Great horn Tragoth's armor covers its wearer with a pair of giant horns providing staunch poise. Tragoth is a famed knight of assistance. Countless tarnished, facing adversity in the lands between, have survived thanks only to the Great Horned One's aid. Oh, we killed him! It's so thick. Oh, that is funny. But how much endurance would we need for this? It's 98, man. Wow. <laughs> Even without our weapon. So I think we're at like, what, 73 tips us over? Seventy-four, seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-four point five. 
Wow. Okay, we have found the thickest armor possible. And we can't use it. <laughs> nah, it's all good. I'm happy with the scaled set for now. Right. I feel like there's maybe one little bit of an area left in Volcano Manor that we haven't found, but let's progress Patch's quest here. And I guess he can give this to Aunt Lady Tanner. Hello again. Well, yep. You hunted down Tragoth. Mm-hmm. Are you certain? Yep. No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Yeah, go on. Have some rest by all means. Cheers for that. Forgot something. No, no trouble. Try to find it in ya. <laughs> so if we rest, don't know what's gonna happen. than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. There you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Magma Whip Candlestick. Try to find... Forgot something on... No, no. Okay. Steam... If you follow, it cannot... He might move now. Not sure. Hello again. Try to find. Okay, uh, we'll leave it there then. Oh, Volcano Manor. I think there's one maybe side area that I've not been to, but uh, we'll check that out in the next video and then decide where to go from there because I don't think we'll be able to face Lord Rykard until we've done all these invasions so maybe have a look upstairs for some illusory walls but until then i hope you enjoyed this one guys leave me a like if you did just remember everyone never trust an on crate i'll see you next time